What's up guys? We're going to go over the auto queue setup in the Behringer DSP8024. Um, I'll go ahead and explain what this unit is and all the fancy pants features why I selected it after this instructional, but we'll get right to it. So obviously you're going to need your monitors plugged in and you're going to need a reference microphone like the Behringer ECM8000. I used a friend's PreSonus PRM1. You're going to want that microphone to be pointed in your listening headspace, basically where you're going to be listening to your monitors. You're going to want that plugged into the back of the DSP8024. And of course, you're going to want your monitors plugged into the outputs as well. And of course, you want to have those monitors on. Now, if you've ever read the Behringer manual, it is really confusing. So here's the basic settings under the RTA setup. I'll go over these in a bit, but here's the ones that you're going to need to focus on. All right, so you're going to be in the RTA mode, and you're going to want to turn the in-out button on, and you're going to hear a whole bunch of pink noise. Tap the setup button. You want to take note of these settings here. This is exactly how you're going to want them set up. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to turn that RTA button. You're going to hit that. You're going to hit Tools. You're going to hit Auto Q. You're going to hit the L plus R button. And then all you have to do is just sit and wait. So during this whole period of time, you're going to hear the pink noise. And this is going to go on for probably about two or three minutes, depending on how much correction your room requires. You're going to see these levels kind of go up and down. Um, once it's finished, you don't have to do anything. Don't hit OK. Don't hit Cancel. It'll be locked in. Then you're going to hear a whole bunch of pink noise. Just tap that In Out button one more time and you are done. It is locked in. If you hit the EQ button, you're going to see there's your room correction. Obviously, you can see my room is a mess and needed a lot of room correction on it. Now, the sound difference before and after I did this was amazing. Night and day difference. You can pick these guys up for less than 100 bucks on eBay or Reverb.com. Uh, the reference microphones are pretty darn cheap. It's a good investment, I think. I hope this helped you guys. If you're cheap like me and you want to get DSP room correction on active monitors that are a few years old, I think this is a really good way to go. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Peace.